North Korea warning, new hypersonic missile technology could spark global warfare. Russia, China and the United States are the three main players developing hypersonic missiles which can blow any other types of missiles out of the sky. The new missiles will be highly maneuverable, unlike current missiles, and be able to fly at up to 25,000 km per hour, 15,534 miles per hour, or more than 25 times as fast as a modern airliner. They will also be able to get between altitudes ranging from a few tenths of kilometers to 100 kilometers much lower or higher than current surface-to-air missile systems. The trio of characteristics means they will be highly unpredictable to their targets and will only be traceable six minutes before they hit, giving nations almost no time to react. They are especially dangerous as, due to their incredibly high speed and ability to accurately target, they will be seriously destructive with or without an explosive warhead attached. A study into hypersonic missile nonproliferation by the highly respected US think tank, RAND Corporation, has warned there is probably less than a decade available to substantially hinder the proliferation process. The report has warned when hypersonic missiles are available, due to the fact an attack could occur with very little warning time, nations will use hair trigger tactics which could include a launch on warning posture. There are fears nations which do not have advanced missile detection systems, such as North Korea or Iran will be so threatened by hypersonic missiles they will cause further instability in regions. The report, said, we believe that the unpredictable trajectories, resulting in target ambiguity, and the ability to penetrate most defenses, will affect some nations' defense postures and increase instability in some regions. Nations that do not possess, or have access to, space-based sensory systems to detect ballistic missile launches and that rely on ground-based sensory, such as radars, to detect incoming mid-to-long-range ballistic missiles, could experience a further compression of their decision, response timelines. The ability of hypersonic forces to penetrate defenses and compress decision time could aggravate the instabilities in regions that are already tense, for example, Iran Israel and North Korea Japan. Conflicts in these regions could evolve to include major power aligned on opposite sides and which would create new paths for escalation to an even larger conflict. Scientists are working on two different types of hypersonic missile, the first being hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, which are launched by rockets into the upper atmosphere and will reach altitudes from 50 km to more than 100 km where they will glide to their targets by skipping along the upper atmosphere. HGVs can vary their impact points and associated trajectories as they fly, and also fly at lower altitudes to ballistic missiles. Hypersonic cruise missiles, HCMs, are the second type, which are powered all the way to their targets by rockets or high-speed jet engines at an altitude of 20 km to 30 km and can hold targets within a 1,000 km radius of the launched aircraft, striking within several minutes. At the moment, the three major nations developing hypersonic missiles are Russia, China and the US, with France and India following closely behind, and several other nations behind them, including the EU, Brazil, South Korea, Canada, Iran, Israel, Pakistan and Singapore.